I don't know if y'all have noticed, but there's a comedian that's been going around on the internet. Her name is Amy Strumer. Have you have you uh, heard of her? Yeah, I'm familiar with her. She's been out for four or five years. So let me ask you uh, your opinion. How do you feel about Amy Strumer? <laughs> She's kind of an insult comic. She's kind of an insult comic. There's another guy who, who's gained some popularity. They were on a couple of those, uh, about five or six years ago, they had a, a, a contest for comedians. Okay, so so she's so she was on the last comic standing. Yeah. So there's there's a big joke that's been going around on YouTube, and you can let me know if you know it. But it's basically that she's not funny. Well, you know, I think uh, a lot of the humor today is not really that funny. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do today, y'all. We're going to actually see if she's funny or not. We're going to go. We're going to watch nine minutes of Amy Schumer, and we're going to try to laugh. Normally we do a try not to laugh. We're going to do a try to la laugh, but we're going to keep it real. If it's funny, it's going to be funny. If it's not, it just ain't funny, all right? Steve-O is here. Steve-O, great try. Steve-O! But I truly am, no joke, sorry for the loss of your friend Ryan Dunn. I know you must have been thinking it could have been me, and I know we were all thinking, why wasn't it? <laughs> um, That's their humor. I don't know. I think that's just me. Yeah, it is. Like, but that's not even good humor. That's just me. Yeah, but some people find that funny. Man, I've never been the one to jo to joke about somebody's friend dying. You know what I'm saying? Well, like that that could have been you. Is like, ah, that's funny. But then you think about your friend. Though. Yeah, and everybody's saying, and everybody else is wishing it should have been you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, if I want to sleep gross. with someone, I do it. Yeah. And I, I am a monogamous slut. Can I say that on yeah, air? I think you can. Okay. That's not uh, what we're worried about. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, what I'm, yeah, I have a higher risk of disease. I also have a much higher risk of fun. No, no, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is to prove my point by saying that, you know, you don't think it should be used as a bargaining tool. Yeah. I mean, as far as, you know, this, the kind of point of the column is that abstinence is the one taboo issue regarding sex. I mean, it's like, oh, it'll be a dirty stand-up comic. You're cracking new ground there, Copernicus. But once you talk about mm -hmm. abstinence, Everyone, all of a sudden, they put you, like, right now, we have to talk about it. Because who is this kid who's talking about abstinence, who, you know... Who is this kid who's, you know, 23, you don't know who you're going to be sexually yet. So to talk about it with such authority and arrogance... Well, I don't know who I'm going to be what? You don't what? know who you're going to be sexually yet. You're going to be into really weird things in about a decade. Oh, I have no <laughs> doubt. I have no doubt. Yeah. Trust me. And the thing is, it says that there really should be, no, there should be no confidence. <laughs> there, there, and, you know, I, you slip by the, the dirty comedian thing, but honestly, you call yourself a comedian, but you don't do it that much. Like, I go fishing a couple times a Year, but I don't introduce myself on TV as a fisherman. Wow. Well, this is really <laughs> personal for the concept of abstinence. I mean, only takes that one person, though. And there is no, there's no contract that the person's not going to cheat on you because they're abstinent. They could, she could there fall in no love contract. with somebody well, actually, else. Well, there is a contract. That's what a marriage is. It's a contract, well, it's a contract that, that, more than, <laughs> that more than 60% of people break. No, actually, that's yeah, not that's true. true. Actually, if you even look at the new U.S. Census Bureau of Statistics, uh, more than 70% of first-time marriages last. Okay, but then the guy goes off and sleeps with a young boy. Well, yeah, well good, you, know, you guys it's... stayed married, but there, then there's infidelity. Well, I want you to bring out the statistics that guys are running around rampantly sleeping with young boys. First of all, I'm not a boy. I know I have characteristics as such. All I'm saying is yes, you're right. There, of course... You got characteristics as something else. It is way safer to not have sex, but... Yeah, but if you have sex with one person, maybe they've had sex with one person. It only takes that one. I probably had sex with I don't know a baker's two person. dozen, <laughs> you know, and and I'm fine. My baker's with my baker. <laughs> he is happily oh, married. But I have to yeah, say, my here. last three relationships, which each lasted between two to five years, we slept with each other almost immediately, mm -hmm. and it's because That's I right. knew that I wanted to be with them, you know. I, I like that. Um, I mean, that, it wasn't very funny, but I, I actually like what she said. Because you know, I think that one of the best relationships that you can have with somebody, not like a friendship or nothing, is like if you're really attracted to them. Like I don't think that if you're not really attracted to them, I don't see a long-term relationship happening. What do you well, think? you know, you hit it off or you don't. And uh, generally, you're going to know soon if this is uh, short-term or long-term. Yeah, but just just sexually though, like if you look at somebody and say, "I wouldn't want to," I wouldn't want to do that to them. 
Like if you look, if you if you see a girl, like if you see a girl, he'd be like, man, she's really ugly to me. I really don't, I don't want, I don't really see a long term relationship with that person, like right off the bat. Well, it depends on you know what, what's your thing. Is it a pretty face? Is it a killer body? Is it both? Uh, is conversation important? You know, is 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 that kind of mental and emotional chemistry important, or is it just about sex? So it just kind of depends on where you are and what you're looking for. Yeah, I think it kind of had to be a mixture of all of it. Well, of course. You know, why, you know, as a young person, a lot of people will take, have two or three people to make one. You got a woman you like to talk to. You got a woman that you like to uh, 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 go out and do stuff with, and you got a woman that you like to make love to. And, and and at some point you'll find women that can cover all three bases as opposed to having two or three women to basically make up one and then of course there's my always uh, go-to line there's the needy and there's the greedy a lot of women ain't with that <laughs> and and there's a lot of women that would rather be by themselves or see, there's a lot of women now that take that traditional male role right. they the men Right. They go out and have them two or three uh, boys to make up one man. You know that, except with the five humor. Why don't you move here? <laughs> then you'd have a bigger place. Do you like it here? But, I mean, I don't fit in here. Just straight, like straight up body type. Like in LA, my arms register as legs. No. They're just like, <laughs> like, why is that octopus on sunset? Is that? <laughs> Well, last, last time I was here, right from the show, I, I got court, courtside tickets to a Laker game. That's fun. Yeah, because my, my uh, business agent thought I was mad at him for sexually harassing me. Um, well, but no, I'm like 30. This bitch is crazy, you. 30, so I'm just starting to really appreciate that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, well, it's true. I, I can't speak for everyone. I'm not like sexually harassed. But in your 20s, I feel like you walk around. Like, you'll walk past a construction site and be kind of like, oh, like, don't look... But then in your 30s, you know, you, I'm just like, what about this? Yeah. Like, how about, it's like my skirt's over my head. I'm like, ah. That's I look her, like I'm in feet. Style. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, she has some gems in there. Like, I mean, I don't want to say gems. I'm not going to say gems, but she has some, some little tidbits that is, that's kind of funny and, and whatnot. Yeah, you know, the, her take is, is the uh, uh, negative side of it and making it funny you know, to her. Right, right. You know, and sometimes it's funny to me and sometimes it's not. You know, just like that little bit about, yeah, yeah. Young girls would go by and, and feel embarrassed that men now would an older one be like, yeah, look, look. look <laughs> right, man, right. Whistle at this. You know, <laughs> I, I don't know. Some women, you know, I doubt if the majority of women would would be the uh, attitude and tact they would take. <laughs> right. But that's that's the joke. I think where people come off at her at is the the premise of the joke is funny. Like the idea, like how you just explained it, yeah. and I probably did more chuckling from you explaining what she just said yeah. than her. I think it's just the comedic timing. And then how you decide to deliver it. It might be mostly women that are, that are her fans. Yeah, I don't know. You know, like I said, Amy Schumer is just okay. You know, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be saying, oh, Amy Schumer's on. <laughs> I want to see her. She was different. <laughs> she was different. And the idea of some of the mean things that she would say about some people was mm. kind of funny. Okay. But after a while, you know, like I said, it becomes less funny and it's just more mean. He's just <laughs> so like, she's, just, just, she's just a bitch. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. Now, cruel, cruelty has this humor, you know, it's just like in South Park. They, you know, from objectively, it's a little funny. But if it happened to you, it wouldn't be funny. Right, right. <laughs> you know. So, right. You know, you can laugh at somebody else's pain, but if the pain is yours, you might feel different. Kind of like the whole Chris Rock thing. It's like, to laugh at it on stage, but if yeah. you got slapped in front of millions of people, no, I, you you wouldn't be happy too. You nah, be looking at the camera. I wouldn't little. be pleased about that. He can put his hands behind his back, like yeah, if he, you know, some defenseless. You can't do this in public, <laughs> in front of the world. But he did eating, you know? and I'm eating popcorn. <laughs> the way I think we all eat popcorn, which is, you know, at first you always kind of start out kind of like lying to yourself, like oh, like, oh. 
<laughs> like one piece at a time, you know, and then, and then like you get a little more real, right? right. And then eventually you just like you get real, real, and it's just go. <laughs> like I've split my lip trying to get one more kernel. <laughs> it's true. In my dumb mouth, it's true. Do you eat popcorn like that though? Are you a popcorn lover? Do you eat popcorn like that though? Are you a popcorn lover? And something about the darkness, we just lose all of our inhibitions in the darkness. Is the popcorn really that delicious? We must shovel handfuls of it into our mouth? Sometimes. Hell yeah. <sighs> and buttery. Is that too, you know that? All that. All of that. Do you eat popcorn like that though? Are you a popcorn lover? I want to This sounds more like a, 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 a adult film <laughs> than it is than it does a comedy. But I mean, if you take snippets of anybody and just chop them up like that, they, every, everybody gonna sound kind of crazy. Yeah, like, well, you yeah. know, it's her image is is probably part of it because she goes back and forth between being kind of attractive cool. and and uh, being like that. Uh, like she's kind of attractive, but then she kind of looked like Miss Piggy on a good day. Uh, on a bad, yeah. And but she'll make fun of that too. Oh, but what, make fun of her herself. looking like that? Yeah, she does a lot of self-deprecating humor. Like that's she, good. That's good. You know, and and that's probably why <clears throat> she's lasted this long because it's not. She's not the cute mean girl. Right. She's the fat, sometimes fat mean girl. <laughs> that's sometimes cute and not only will she crack on you she'll crack on herself right right okay you okay know, so i can you know i can hey, respect hey, that she, she can dish it out and she can take it okay and you know you gotta if you're gonna dish it out you gotta be able to take it See, look at oh yeah This side of contacts is not funny. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's just shaped odd. Mm -hmm. It's the moving target. When you think coming my chili? <laughs> what happened? Mm-mm-mm. So you just say dick hole. It's, yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah. What do you mean you want to hit my dick hole? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I think I think as a compilation, yeah. once you start doing something over and over and over and get repetitive, it can become funny. But whoever made this compilation, uh, they could have left out most of that. Well, yeah, they just the yeah. noise that she was making. In the face it's out of context. Yeah, I said that's what I said. Out of context, this is not, not funny. We don't really know. But, but see, the thing is, it says this is Amy Schumer's cringe stand-up. Yeah, this is cringeworthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh it's not uh, it's not that entertaining. Really, it's me. We are following up on a story that we brought you last night on the ten o'clock news. We are hearing from this man that you see in the photo right here. Comedian Amy Schumer actually took this picture and posted it on her own Instagram page yesterday. She says this man tried taking a picture of her on Saturday morning when she didn't want him to. 
Schumer also says he wouldn't take no for an answer. Well, tonight we are hearing from that man who says what the actress and comedian claims is not what actually happened at all. Now, Schumer's version of events has prompted dozens of stories online mm -hmm. across the country and tens of thousands of comments attacking that man. Yeah, and it's all from here in Greenville, South Carolina. Tonight, that man, Leslie Brewer, he sat down with us about what happened, also about what happened, what's happened since. Well, and that's just for me sitting here with you. The last 24 hours for Leslie Brewer have been, for lack of better words, surreal. It was literally five minutes, yeah. and it was like everywhere. He's talking about a picture that actress and comedian Amy Schumer posted on her Instagram page yesterday of him, thumbs up and smiling. But the reason she posted it, she says, was not a good one. She wrote on Instagram that Brewer ran up to her, tried to take a picture with her, and that he would not take no for an answer. When she came back up to me, kind of like at the end of it, she had ran back up to me and she had took a picture of me. That's how you got to thumbs up yeah. and I was like you know I don't care and she was like well I have four million followers and I'm gonna have them bash you and that's exactly what happened in the day since that picture was posted article after article has been posted calling Brewer everything from an idiot to a persistent jerk but Brewer says it didn't happen that way and he has proof sorry it's short sorry where Brewer says it proves it did not play out the way Schumer said it did. He was downtown and others had recognized her, and he says his wife noticed her right behind him. There was no running up. I, and I did it in a non-threatening way. She said I got up in her face, and it was completely different from the video. Sorry. Brewer says Schumer only made things worse after that video was taken. He thought she was coming back to apologize, but instead, he says she took the picture and personally insulted him. I honestly can believe that, like, I'm going to be honest with you. One, it's sickening. Like, if you're going to be a celebrity and you you gotten this big machine behind you, which is social media, you got four million followers, you know, for you to even, even if that man was harassing you, for you to take a picture of him, post it on your online for somebody, to, for all your four million followers to go and harass him, that's sick. And it's, and it's, and you know, to be honest with you, you know, you deserve the backlash from it because that's not how you, that's not what you do to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Well, I agree with that. And, you know, that's the downside of celebrity. You know, you want everybody to know who you are, but then you complain that you have no privacy. So <clears throat> which do you, sometimes you can't have both. Right. You know, you know, that's why a lot of the really wealthy celebrities lead the country. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. they go to, and then, then they all they got to do, deal with is paparazzi, who that's what they do for a living. Right. You know, they follow celebrities around and, and try them. to get those kind of pic get, get pictures of catching them. Whatever it is they're trying to catch, but uh, hey, that's the price of celebrity. You know, you're gonna get, sometimes you're gonna get unwanted attention, but you just want to chill. But see, and, and you know, here's the trade-off. It's like, you know, you can have a a regular, okay, you, you're nine to five, you go to work, you come home, yada, yada, and you look at celebrities, that's fine. Or if you put in the grind, you put in the hard work, and this is this is what you wanted, then you have to understand that all of these things come with this price. But for you to, but for you to go out your way to try to punish this man and have millions, even if it was a, thousand people a thousand people sending negative hate comments like to somebody that can that can destroy well, somebody's life ten percent of four million is four hundred thousand one percent of four of of, of uh, four million is forty thousand people so if just one percent right. of her people made a comment that's, that's forty thousand could you imagine getting forty thousand Hate emails, man. I mean, Twitter hate or whatever. emails, Twitter posts. It, you know, it takes one. It takes it takes ten positive comments to to try to make up for one negative comment that you see. Yeah, that's just amazing. Forty thousand, possibly. That, that's one percent of four million. And that's and my thing is, of course, probably not forty thousand messaged them, but let's be what honest. If it was four thousand. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Even that's if it was four hundred, like imagine four hundred people saying you're an asshole, you stink, would, you, uh, you're an idiot, you're dumb, I would and then they know your full name. 
I would probably not look at my Twitter account for a while. Man, but then the thing is, people, the thing is people don't just stop there. They go to your Facebook. They go to your Instagram. Yeah. They I, go to your job. I remember when you first started putting out uh, uh, music and the kind of comments that you uh, were hit and how you uh, toughed your way through it till you got to some people that appreciate what you was doing. Cause they, they, used they, to, they, they used to light into you and I Oh yeah, they didn't light my ass up. <laughs> you like, damn. I felt like a Bunsen burner, a new gas stove. Like, boy, they didn't light my ass up. Yeah, they used to tear you up and I'd say, damn, you were. You gotta have, you gotta just shake it off. Shit. Yeah, you gotta have some tough skin. If, well, you put yourself out there and, and, and you gotta take the bad with the good because everybody ain't gonna like you. Yeah, yeah, but she's sick. She's yeah, sick. she's uh, but that's that's the nature of the humor these days. It's no, 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 not even that. I'm talking about for her to come back, take the picture, post it. That's that's sick. Well, she was obviously having a bad day, mm -hmm. and uh, she wanted to make sure he had one too. <laughs> yeah, well, he did. <laughs> he had a hell of a day. <laughs> then she got mad. He didn't delete the video, and at this point, he says he's glad he didn't. He wants everyone to know what happened didn't happen the way Schumer said it did, and he says the comedian. Now has one less fan. I understand you want to blast me, and that's what she told me. But you're you're a celebrity. That's petty. That's that's beneath you. Now Brewer says that if he had to do it over again, he would not have taken the picture, knowing the trouble that it has caused. But he also says he had stop on his phone when he was asked to by Schumer. Amy Schumer initially said that the incident involving Brewer and downtown Greenville would keep her from doing any more photos with fans. Period. But she has since backtracked on that somewhat. A rep for the comedian told People Magazine this weekend, quote, I am grateful to the people who like my work and support me, but not the ones who think that behavior is okay. You, you tell them, are you happy? Are, are they, you emotionally is there a satisfied? church smiling? No, you can say, are you emotionally satisfied in your marriage? Yes, no. By 25% spread, both, both uh, spouses who are virgins, yes. Are you sexually satisfied in your marriage? Yes. Is it difficult lie, for you to achieve Lie, lie. Look, why would people have to be honest it's about all their the emotions? sources are listed in the column. Every single source listen to these are call, these are things that have been used by the Kinsey Institute. What They're I'm saying is out. who cares what they said? A lot of people say they have happy marriages, even in therapy when they're miserable. So the twenty five point spread doesn't matter because only the people who will be lying would be the people who are abstinent? I just don't know any happy happily married people. Speaking of I'm sorry that that got so heated. I just want to say good TV. I just want to say that I, I read the blog and it was it did come across to me like you you know you ended it by saying no judgments, but it definitely felt very judgmental. Well, I mean you're judgmental. I mean, see the thing is, for you to even say that you don't really think that there's a lot of happy marriages, you're just really projecting your own feelings about maybe something that might have happened to you or some things that you've seen from people that you know, that you try to project that onto him and the world. But that, I mean, obviously there's a lot of happy marriages now. So, I mean, I'm I'm sitting next to one. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, how, how long has you mom been married? 32 years. Oh, that's longer than I've been alive. Like, it's yeah. just, and yeah, they could be the exception. Everybody could say that they could be the glitch. They could be the exception to the rule, but it's just like, you gonna project how you feel and what your thought of the world and, is. And, and, and sit it around your expectations. You know, what? what is a happy marriage? The sum total of the time you spent together, you know, if it's more good than bad, then I would call that happy. Right. Because there's no reality that I'm aware of where it's gonna be all good. That's just, that is unrealistic. And it ain't centered around money. And it ain't centered around problems. It's, I mean, just cause you might not have any financial problems don't mean there's a whole nother host of problems. So, you know, it's just, I would prefer to look at it as a scale. If the, if the good side is heavier than the bad side, then I'd call that good, you know, right. cause I don't know a world where it's all happy all the time. That's to me, that's unrealistic. And if you have, that's what you expect to get, then you're gonna be disappointed. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be disappointed. I mean, you'll be disappointed in the world where everything went perfect. Could you imagine that? I can't imagine that. Like, imagine for those y'all out there, just imagine everything goes your way all the time. Everything always goes right. The reason why you get happy about the good times when you're up is because you remember the bad times. You remember back in the day you didn't have this. Oh, you remember 
when you know when you were scrawny in the gym and now look at you you put but if you could walk in the gym and push a button and you could be any size you want like would you really be excited to be you were like oh i got games you wouldn't really you didn't do outside. anything you pushed the button that's what you did so takes, you know you can take out. yeah you can take solace and pride out of the the work that you put in in order to accomplish something because if they was just given to you then you know you didn't do it. You didn't do anything. No. And if it's that easy, easy come, easy go. Right. It, it definitely. <laughs> Speaking of easy go, we we gotta go ahead and easy go, guys. My son is uh, over here and he wants some attention, y'all. Well, hi, I'm Tony James. I have a radio station. It's called RhythmFlightRadio.com. Move, jazz, R&B, stepping music. I do a lot of dance music for the dance community. But more than anything else, I just like great music, whatever the genre. So check me out on RhythmFlightRadio.com. You can also find me, Tony James, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, of course. So until the next time, peace out.